What is up? This is Graham Tuttle, the Barefoot Sprinter. I'm here with Gary Lineham. Now, he is the guy you have probably not heard of yet. He's the brains and the uh, brilliance and the beauty behind the human garage. But he's a guy that you're going to want to spend more time with. So we go through a reset for the body. So I've been getting into running. Well, I've always been a runner, but getting really serious about it, trying to get more capable as a runner. And so a lot of that comes with understanding there's imbalances in your body. There's tissues that are stiff and tight. There's forms that get messed up. And so everyone talks about form, but no one talks about how to get your body prepped and primed before you even go and run. And that's exactly what we did today. We spent a few minutes going over some stuff that literally he, I mean, he was very, very kind and helpful, but he just showed me how to do myself that was magic and it is something you can go and do today. It will change your run viscerally and tangibly. I'm excited for you to watch this, so stay tuned. So what we'll do is just quick tips today. Um, the first thing you do is before you run, we have a 15 minute stress reset. If you do that, it helps with your rotation, your breathing, your lung capacity and all that. So you can go to our YouTube channel and you can just do 15 minutes stress reset and it'll help you run immediately. And after having done yesterday, working through the twist and the anti-gravity. It, it was works. a lot, <laughs> it works really well. Okay, so, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna work on our, our ankles, our calves, our hamstrings and our knees. Okay. And our hips, okay? And Anything else? <laughs> and we'll, and we'll, do, we'll, do a, we'll do a little elbow and shoulder. Okay. So we'll do it really easy, but we're gonna do it on one side and see how your body works, okay? Yeah. Okay, good. So let's get down an ankle. So let's go right ankle over. Okay, left hand, just grab it. And your right hand, grab it. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna counter rotate like you're doing a snake bite. Okay, like this. Okay, push your foot up like this. Now what I want you to slowly move the ankle around, or sorry, pull back and push your foot. So like earlier, I'm trying to pull on a sock. Now slowly move around, you feel that stretch? Mm -hmm. So you feel a burning sensation almost, right? Mm -hmm. That burning sensation is crystallized or calcified fascia. So mm -hmm. as we do this, that burning sensation will go away. And you, you can readjust your grip, and then you can also move your angle, you move it around like for angle. Right, like that. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take long, mm -hmm. super simple. Yeah. Okay, part two. So I know that we want to get running, so we want to spend a lot of time prepping. Mm -hmm. So these are all quick fixes, okay? So number two is we're going to put our hands uh, together like this. We're going to come underneath the calf. And if I pull up here, I'm going to find a tighter spot. Mine's tighter right here, top of the. So mine's tight right mm -hmm. here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull, grip really hard, pull back, and then move the foot. Take your thumbs off, so all the weight is on the, there you go. Now you got your hamster, or your calf, you feel that? Mm -hmm. Again, same thing, you can move it around, different spots. There you go. Different angles. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna show you a single knee torque. There's a double knee torque too, but the single one, because we're gonna do one side first. Take your, your knee, put it up, both hands on your knee. And you're gonna rotate forwards from the external around to the internal, so just rotate. And what you do is you push your knee down like this. So you hold the skin, push it down, you feel that stretch in the knee. Mm -hmm. Okay, now turn your head to the right and breathe six times deep. <laughs> Also breathe through your nose. Okay, good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one more for the, for the uh, hamstring. So standing up, hands behind here. What you're gonna do is grab, and again, I go, like to follow feel with restriction. Mine's right here, the base of the hamstring. So once I grab it, I pull up, and then what I'm gonna do is step back, stretching. Okay and straighten that knee. Now you feel that stretch back there? Yeah. Rotate your hands and lean away. Yeah, you can feel it. And then slowly move, slowly, and breathe. Slowly. Six times. Okay, good. So now we got one leg, ankle. It's all in that, uh, that bicep femoris, that, uh, that core is probably yeah. so. Okay, so let's go for a walk and see how you feel. Yeah. What do you notice? Know? Like, 
freely. Freely? Yeah. Yeah. So, like that's one of the. But things. your right one's moving freely. Yeah. So I did some running yesterday, and so. What's your left one feel? A lot of residual soreness and stiffness. They both felt like that, but the right leg is just. So recovery is really good. Mm. But if recovery is good, and you do it over and over again, because mm -hmm. there's no limit to how much you can do. Okay, so now let's take, we're gonna do the elbow torque. Really, really simple. Yeah. Right hand on left shoulder. Take your left hand on the elbow. What you wanna do is find which way is tighter. So for me, it's external. It can be different, even if sometimes it, day by day it can be different. Okay, mm -hmm. just get one good grip. Okay, pull your body around to the left. And your head to the right. And, and then you start breathing, but you can modify this. Tighten up your spine, actually. So keep your hips forward. There, a little bit more forward. There you go. Feel that stretch there now? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is take your right foot be, put behind you and pull it up like you're, you're hitting a golf ball. There you go. Now turn your head to the right and breathe in six times. Okay, good. Let's go for a walk. And you can feel your right side compared to your left side. Cool. <laughs> it just wants to, oh wow. <laughs> it seems, so I know, especially people watching, it seems like a trivial thing. Like I just touch my skin and rotate and breathe. It's like, but there is a, a, a tangible visceral feeling as I step. It's like, I, li I would not want to go run if I hadn't done both sides, but like you just, you've opened this up. And so I know for me just, just doing some more exploration on mobility. It's like a lot of that, it just, there's so much of this, the cross body tissue that gets bound. And so the, like the rotation doesn't happen as naturally and fluidly. So like when I go run, I get like a stiff, very stiff, very linear, just running straight forward like a robot, as opposed to like the rotation going through that. And I can right. just literally, like it feels yeah. like I want to go. If I were to be a baseball, like it just opens. Perfect. Perfect.